All right, the Arab Spring. I'm not gonna, <laughs> in fact, bore you, I'm not gonna try to explain because I'm not sure I know what it is, the convoluted nature of our international policy and what is really going on globally around the world. So you pick what you think are the essence, the, the basis for what really went on. And you take a look at a technology right now that is in the hands of the common man. And by the way, if we don't watch out, this technology won't be in the hands of the common man much longer. And that is the ability for us to communicate with one another in real time. Real time. I mean, at the speed of light. So we sat back and filtered through the mass media, got to take a look at what was called the Arab Spring. These mobs that occurred, supposedly, out of thin air, all of a sudden, a million people show up in a square someplace. Well, how do you do that? How do you get a million people, 100,000 people, or for that matter, if you've ever held a party in your house, 20 people to show up in the same place at the right, at the same time? How many of you have held a party and you said, RSVP, please tell me you're coming. I've got a caterer. I need to know if you're coming. It's always a cluster. Unless you call them up and you ask them, are you coming? I don't know. We turned on the TV or got on the internet and looked at 100,000 people showing up to the party at the same time. How did that occur? for two reasons. One, people wanted to come to the party. Two, somebody told them where it was and when to be there. So you have the motivation of, I want to come to that party, and you have the information necessary to arrive. How did that happen? Twitter. This little thing where we in America tell each other what we're having for lunch or that we're off to the loo in the sense of the English. We're going to have a slash in the sense of the English. We're going to the bathroom. Who cares? That's what we do with Twitter. What did these people do that were under the oppressive regimes of governments and dictators? They said, enough. Now, it may not have worked out to their liking, but it will the next time. What it is saying to all of us, this cannot be controlled by a centralized authority, unless, of course, we're willing to relinquish the Internet, which we're talking about doing right now. Facebook and Twitter. Revolutions. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people gathering in one place at one time with 140 characters on Twitter saying, get down here now, and risking their lives to do it. The Arab Spring. Well, let me talk to you about the American Spring. We don't have to listen to mainstream media. We don't have to listen to the pundits. We don't have to listen to the parties, either side. We can listen to one another, and our own experiences in our lives in real time, if we care to embrace this technology now, today, we can tell each other what is going on in our respective lives, and we're going to be shocked by something. Each one of us is being affected in the same way. The parties are perpetrating upon each one of us the same message over and over and over again, but the one they can't control is on Facebook, and the other one they can't control is on Twitter. And if you will pick up a piece of technology, a smartphone, a computer, a laptop, a tablet, and begin to talk to your neighbor about your common experience, we can change the world. We can take back the message of our republic we can control our future. We can absolutely give a great nation to our children and our grandchildren. If we would spend 10 minutes a day 
we can change the world. It, we watched it happen. In India, they just elected a new prime minister with no party affiliation, an anti-corruption campaign on Facebook. It's in our hands. There are 10 million of us for every one that wants to control us. We have what is necessary to change our destiny. And all we have to do is communicate with one another. The reason that I have pledged to run as an unaffiliated candidate for governor with 60,000 likes by my 60th birthday on Facebook, April 6th, is because I believe we can do it. But I know we can't do it if you don't care. There's no reason to do it if you don't care. There's no reason to do it if you don't want to spend 10 minutes a day to secure <laughs> your future and the future of your children. Now, I'm not preaching at you, because if you decide you don't want me to do it, I'm 60. I hope to make it to 80. But I won't have to spend the last 20 years of my life. You will have let me off the hook. I'll be sad if you do that, but I'll also be relieved. Because I will have known at the end of my days that Nobody cared. I'll still care, but I can't do this by myself, and I'm not some sort of martyr. I can't do it by myself, any more than I would expect you to do it by yourself. And that's the point. You're not alone in this. But you will not know that unless you pick up that phone and find out who your friends are. And there are millions of them. Pick up the phone, get a Twitter account, get a Facebook account. I know in our, in our generation, and we've got young kids who are saying, please help us do this. Do you realize that our generation has all the money? What are you going to spend it on? The day you die are now health care? Are you going to be chained in the backyard living out your old age? in atrophy and boredom. So, you've got to remember, there's just one way to do this. You've got to take the action, the interest, and you have the ability to change the world. The American Spring. It happens with you. It happens with your friends and the people who trust you. Together, pick up your phone, get a Twitter account, Drop that old stuff. Embrace the technology that created the Arab Spring. Oh, you can say, well, the Arab Spring didn't turn out so well. It will turn out well. Take a look at what's happening now. People want liberty and freedom. It is governments that oppress that. And for many, many reasons, the American Spring, 140 characters on Twitter, a Facebook account, and you spending 10 minutes a day to guarantee the future of your children and their grandchildren. We can do this. Start now. Listen to the old man. Listen to the old man. Listen to the old man. When you can.